Welcome from the Abilene Public Library. I'm Miss Cheryl. And I'm Jasper the Library Dragon. We're here with our fourth installment in Jasper's Reading Challenge. The bingo card looks like this. You can find it on our Facebook page or the Abilene Public Library's web page. You can print it off. And if you can't because you don't have a printer, you can email the library at apl at abilenelibrary.org and we'll send one to you in the mail. You do have plenty of time to finish it because you have until the 23rd of May to get it turned in to us. And guess what? <laughs> what, Jasper? We hope that we'll be able to give you some important information later this week. So stay tuned for a special announcement. Oh, that will be fun to find out some interesting things concerning the summer and some more definitive information. It will. I'm ready for it all to get started. Me too. Let's see. It shows that you have week three completed. And let's take a look at what Jasper has done. It says that you have fixed a puzzle. I did. I did a dinosaur puzzle. That's a lot of fun. And it says the book that had a cover that was really interesting to you was this book, Animal Kingdoms. I liked it because it's green like me. <laughs> Most people aren't green, are they? No, but it had some eye-catching animals and the giraffe's neck is a measuring tape. So it was the giraffe's neck that really caught your attention? It was. I've been doing some home improvements. You have? Yep. Well, I bet many of our children have been doing some home improvements with their folks, too. It's been a good time to do that. But let's see. That's interesting that you chose this book because... Our friend Mason, who works here at this library, will be doing some STEM videos this summer, and this is going to be one of the topics that he covers for life science. Mason's going to do some videos? He is. Why? Well, Mason likes science and STEM, and STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and he wants to share his passion with the kids. Oh, I will look forward to that. Me too. And like I said, later this week, we'll give you some more definitive information on when you might expect to see Mason in his STEM videos. It says that you chose this book, I Want My Hat Back, as the one that made you laugh. It did. It has a very surprising thing that happens in the book, and it just made me laugh and laugh and laugh. And guess what? What? We are going to be doing this book for one of our online story times this summer. So we hope that you join us for that. And the last book that we want to talk about with the kiddos this week is this one. It's Night Animals Need Sleep Too. It is the book that I read outside and I chose it because I saw it. I really liked the first book that the author chose. And that's quite often a fun way to look for books that you might like to read is to look for authors that you like and you know that you like their books and then watch for new books written by them to come out. And that's what I do. I have some favorite authors. I do too. How about you guys? Do you have some favorite authors? Oh, I'm hearing some really good ones. Me too. So hopefully this summer you will find some new books written by those very same authors. But now we're going to share a story with you. Miss Cheryl? What, Jasper? I've been reading a story and using my imagination, and I'd like to be the one that shares it with the kiddos. That's a great idea. Can you share me 
your idea with me? Yeah. Can I whisper it? Sure. That's a great idea, Jasper. I think that we will be able to do that. But first, I need to teach you guys a phrase that you can help me repeat throughout the story. Okay, why don't you say it and I and the children will repeat after you. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? I think they are. I think they are too. Okay, go ahead, Jasper. Go ahead and share your phrase with them. I need you guys to say the phrase, Run, run, and don't be lagging. Run, run, and don't be lagging. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. How about if you guys all say that with Jasper? Here we go. One, two, three. Run, run, and don't be lagging. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. They did so good. I think they're ready for the story. I think so too. Okay, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a librarian and a library dragon, and they were getting ready for the summer reading program. So, the dragon decided to go out and look for some more puppets to help tell the stories. So he left the library and he ran across one of the characters that was going to be in the first story time. And it was a pig. What do pigs say? Oh, they say... <laughs> They do. Anyway, I met the pig and I said, Oh, pig, would you like to come to the library and help with a story time? And the pig said, <laughs> which was in pig talk means I'd love to. And so he, I said to the pig, here we go, guys. Run, run, and don't be lagging. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. And off Jasper and the pig took to go to the library. Well, it wasn't long before they ran into another character that was going to be in the story times. It was, right, the bear who wanted his hat back. Jasper said to the bear, Would you like to come to the library to help with the story times? And the bear said, Right. The bear said, roar, 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 Which means I love to hear stories and help act them out. And so Jasper the dragon said, Run, run, and don't be lagging. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. And off the bear and the pig and Jasper went looking for some more characters that could help with the story times. Well, it happened that they ran into the paper bag princess. <laughs> it still makes me laugh to see a princess in a paper bag. And I told you guys about her in this earlier episode. She is going to be helping us with the story time. Anyway, Jasper said to her, would you like to be in a story time? And the paper bag princess said, oh, I'd love to. I'm ready. And so Jasper said, Run, run, and don't be lagging. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. And off Jasper went with the princess in the paper bag, the pear and the pig following close behind. Well, just as they were getting ready to head back to the library, they ran into a cow, right? And the cow said, Moo! So Jasper said to him, You've got a really good moo. 
Would you like to come to the library and be a part of the story times this summer? To which the cow said, moo, 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 which means, I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to. And so Jasper the dragon said, run, run, and don't be lagging. Follow me, I'm the library dragon. And off they headed to the library where they are waiting for the summer reading program to begin so that they could share all their wonderful stories with you. Be sure to watch for our special announcement this week. We miss you and hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.